Hi guys, we're really happy to be here today. Uh, my name is Liam O'Rourke and I'm the Executive Director of Lake City Works and I'm here with... Nicole Bootlier, I'm an employment counselor there. I've been there for about three years now. Yeah, um, so today we're going to walk you through our organization Lake City Works, um, which is a nonprofit charitable organization that's based out of Dartmouth, Nova Scotia. Um, our vision at Lake City Works is that all Nova Scotians have healthy minds and healthy lives. Um, our purpose is to empower people to be themselves and thrive. What we do, let me see here. There we go. Um, what we do at Lake City is uh, support people living with mental illness to build on strengths, take on responsibilities, access work experience, education, and employment. We provide a safe, self-directed pathway to employment and community for individuals living with mental illness, wherever they are in their recovery process. Um, our values at Lake City Works are community. Um, Lake City Works is a welcoming, compassionate place where people feel they belong. We support individuals wherever they are so they can feel safe to explore, share challenges, and celebrate successes. We are open to partnership and collaboration with a diverse range of people and organizations to create a more accepting and inclusive employment community. Um, another value that we hold at Lake City is creativity. Um, Lake City Works offers an inviting uh, environment where people feel free to experiment and share ideas regardless of outcome. We all have the freedom to be creative and impact change. Nothing is off the table and there is no such thing as a bad idea. And if you've been following Lake City over the last year and a half, I think you've probably seen a lot of creative ideas come through. Um, examples will be coming up in the presentation, um, but uh, it's something that we really do embody at our organization. Um, another sort of pillar of our, our value structure at Lake City is our integrity. We're committed to living um, our values every day. We place our clients, our employees, and community at the forefront of everything we do, serving them to the best of our ability. We are recognized for our integrity, connecting with like-minded organizations wherever possible. We strive to create a workplace in which everyone is valued and respected, and we are true to ourselves and what we set out to do. Um, Another big piece of what we do at Lake City is making a difference. Um, we are humbled and gratified by the efforts, the impact of our efforts, and we know we are making positive change in the world because we hear it every day from our clients. Um, we see it in the success of our clients coming through our enterprises and going out into the community. We are proud of the contribution we are making, helping people achieve healthy minds and healthy lives. Um, Lake City's been around for a long time, and another value that we hold dear to us is uh, our leadership. Um, we've been around since 1972, and over that time, Lake City Works clients and employees have inspired each other to live and work to the best of their ability. Um, their example uh, makes Lake City a leader in the broader community, motivating other organizations to continuously improve. We have complete confidence in our vision, creating positive change where necessary and keeping what we know is working. We strive for excellence, implementing best practices that lead to great independence. We look to the community for these beacons, mentors, and bright lights that will inspire and guide our work. It's the last of the reading, I promise. <laughs> um, so next slide here. History. As I mentioned before, Lake City was launched in 1972 as a drop-in center for clients. Uh, of mental health support services. Uh, when Lake City started, it was actually a therapeutic woodworking program that operated under the um, Canadian Mental Health Association. Um, and for about 10 years, we operated like that, a therapeutic drop-in center for folks um, looking for activity. Um, and after operating like that for about 10 years, Lake City incorporated as, as uh, its own sort of separate entity, which is uh, at the time it was called Lake City Industries. Um, and that was, I guess, the beginning of the social enterprising side of Lake City. Um, so the products and, and uh, pieces that were being produced by the clients within that wood, uh, woodworking shop, we started to sell to the public and started to grow the operation. Um, so since 1982, as we've been incorporated as our own entity, we've grown significantly from at that time we were, I think, a client group of around 12 people and a staff team of four to, I think there were six individuals that worked at, at that team at that time. And now we serve over 300 clients and, uh, and we have a staff team of, I know our last payroll was 42 people. Um, so significant growth over that time. We're located at 386 Windmill Road and we have a 28,000 square foot facility where we offer a wide range of services, which we're going to walk you guys through today. Um, I think, yeah, let's go to the next one. Um, 
what we do in a nutshell um, is we connect people living with mental illness um, to counselors, job coaches, tasked with supporting their uh, journey to employment. Um, that I guess that's the the guiding principle of uh, everything that we do at Lake City. We have a lot of different ways that people can step into the organization, get involved with us. Um, but we truly believe that employment is a key stepping stone to people's recovery from mental illness, and it's a key indicator of people's recovery. And so. The way that we operate as an organization is we try and create opportunities for people to come into our organization in whatever capacity that they're able to um, so that we can help them on their journey forward and hoping that um, we can connect them with that final goal of uh, employment within the community. Um, so next slide here. This is, uh, I guess, what Lake City is. Um, so we have a lot going on here um, and we have a lot going on at Lake City. Um, the four blue circles that surround Lake City Works. Um, so Lake City Works is a new brand that um, we applied to our organization in uh, January of 2018. And what it was, it's an umbrella brand to sort of encapsulate the, or, the, the pieces that we've been doing for many years and years. Um, so Lake City Woodworkers is a uh, our woodworking uh, social enterprise where we have a work activity program for people to come in um, and get their feet wet in employment. Um, we build beautiful furniture and we incorporate uh, um, our, our clients within that uh, manufacturing process wherever we can. Lake City Employment um, is our community employment I'm not going to get into the specifics of all of these things, but Lake City Employment, which has community employment, job development, job coaching, we'll get into the, the specifics of that later. Micro Enterprises is kind of a new uh, a new piece to Lake City, so that that represents um, some of the the newer uh, um, newer social ventures that we've started at Lake City over the last couple of years. And then business innovation would be uh, some of the other pieces that we're looking at um, getting off the ground here. So I'm going to hand things over to Nicole to start talking about community employment. So community employment, we offer these services to everybody who's over the age of 19 and who identify as living with a mental illness. Um, the referrals that we receive can be from the individuals themselves. They do not have to come from a doctor or um, necessarily a service provider, although we do welcome them from them as well. Uh, we aim that within two weeks of receiving that referral that we'll have contacted that client and made an appointment to complete their intake and begin the process of uh, job searching or whatever uh, services that client is seeking from us at that time. We're available to meet with the client wherever they are. So we recognize that a barrier for some clients could be transportation or just being comfortable trans uh, going to and from places in the community. So we can meet with them anywhere in the HRM area. Um, we don't go into their homes, but we uh, meet them at any local spot that they're comfortable with. So it could be libraries, um, other offices, or coffee shops. Uh, services that we offer include advocacy for our clients, which would could also include food insecurity, housing, childcare, transportation. Um, but the bulk of our work is around career counseling and job development. We um, work with the clients to get them job ready and to help them look for the work in the community, um, depending on their skills and, and uh, abilities that they have. Um, we offer on-site skill assessments. So anybody who's interested in possibly coming into one of our social enterprises, we have a two and a half day assessment that we offer clients so that we can ensure that they have the skills that are needed and they can follow the safety rules in our wood shop. And um, if it all works out, they could possibly come on site and begin building those skills that they need. Um, we're currently developing pre-employment workshops that include computer basics, job search training, practice interviews, resume and cover letter writing um, that we're hoping that clients will be able to access in the interim between um, when they join us and then when they look for employment, sometimes it's not always a quick find, as we all know. So having these workshops that they can attend will give them something to do during the weeks while they are with us. Uh, we also offer referrals to other programs and services that um, clients are interested in. So we, we very much like to partner with other organizations if that is what is best for the client, and we will offer those referrals to them as well. 
um, services for employers through job development, uh, we can hopefully match clients with uh, their specific skill set to that uh, that employer that's looking for work or for employers, so that um, they get the most out of out of uh, the clients. We offer support, uh, so on the job on the site job coaching that um, if there's any difficulties with the transition period into employment or um, th throughout the the experience um, we can come right into that uh, employer's workplace and offer support one-on-one -on -one with our our clients and through education we we hope to be able to educate employers on how to support people with mental illness so that they can be successful in their workplace Um, so job development uh, continued. Um, it plays an important role in helping our clients find meaningful employment and it helps us create strong partnerships with those employers in the community as well as community members. Uh, we would like to connect our job seeking clients to the local business community so that um, both may be successful and we make appropriate client employer matches based on specific employee skills, um, identified uh, employer needs so that they're, they're both getting the best out of out of the experience um, so as mentioned we will have uh, off-site job coaches that will be available to go in and meet with um, and do those matches with those employers so that um, again we're we're meeting all the needs but um, they would be able to provide that one-on-one -on -one support with participants in the work site um, on an ongoing basis We also have on-site job coaching. So those who are on-site and um, doing their work experience and their skill building in our wood shop or our social enterprises, uh, we have two job coaches who can monitor them. They they help set goals for them. They will connect them with, with their counselors so that if they need anything outside of Lake City, that we're also there to, again, um, help them with possible food insecurity or if they're having trouble with their transportation all of a sudden that we're there to offer those um, that that help um, the job coaches are the ones who perform the assessments for the participants and we try to match them with their interests so um, later on uh, we'll talk about the individual uh, enterprises and so depending on where the skills are or what skills the clients are looking to build we will match them with that social enterprise and I think one of the things that we, uh, <clears throat> uh, the way that we look at things at Lake City is that our on-site job coaches uh, address the needs of our clients within the walls of Lake City and all of the, um, all the clients that we serve on-site also have an employment counselor and the, the employment counselor would be someone who would help them with anything outside of the walls of Lake City. Um, mm -hmm. And one of the things just to build on with what Nicole was saying was that um, we have, we've been working really hard to provide a, a wider variety of uh, opportunities on-site and that's so that people can come in and test out lots of different uh, potential career paths. Um, not not everyone wants to work in a wood shop. Not everyone wants to work at reception. Not everyone wants to clean. Um, so we'll go through some of the on-site opportunities that we have. And the idea is that the client comes in and really leads us through the process that they want to get out of what it is that we offer on-site at Lake City. Um, we're hoping to, the idea is that we're building these people up um, so that they're ready to take that next step, which would be out into the community. Mm -hmm. So some opportunities for on-site is at our reception desk. Our reception desk is manned by our clients. We currently have, I believe it's four different clients who work there. So they're they're building their skills on uh, uh, customer service, um, answering the phones, um, using a photocopier, um, providing support for people who are calling in and looking for services. They, they can guide them around and talk to them about what we offer here and then connect them with the proper person according to what it is they're looking for. So this is a great experience for them to be able to, again, develop their skills. Um, our cleaning is also completed uh, by our clients. We have a about seven in total who clean the building. So it could be our offices, it could be the break rooms. It's also in the wood shop as well, um, where they would do sweeping. Um, they're supervised so that to, to make sure that um, 
they're again getting the guidance and the support needed in order to know exactly what to expect if they were to find the same work in the community. And uh, this program allows for accommodations of se sensitivities. Um, some of our clients have those sense sensitivities, so a lot of our products um, reflect that. And uh, all of our schedules are very flexible, so we try to make sure that the clients will be successful. So if they say they can only work two days a week, then we'll make sure that we accommodate that time and make sure that um, we provide an opportunity yes. for them to, to come in according to whatever it is that they need. Yes. Thank you. Um, our canteen is a new micro enterprise that just opened last year. It, uh, we, we used to have um, vending machines and things for our clients to be able to access treats and stuff on site, but we thought it would be a great opportunity to be able to give clients opportunity for men money handling, uh, customer service, retail, stocking, and, and those type of skills. So our canteen is open every day of the week um, from 8.30 in the morning till 4.30 in the afternoon. And I believe we have about four clients in there and um, they sell um, lots of inexpensive treats and uh, snacks for our clients to be able to access as well as staff. And it's, um, it's a great opportunity. It's, it's been very welcomed by our clients on site. And I'll just add a couple of things there. So one of the things that, uh, one of the reasons we started the canteen was that, uh, I mean, a lot of the, uh, um, a lot of the clients that were coming to access services at Lake City, a lot of people are interested in retail um, uh, opportunities, but a lot of people didn't have any experience within a retail environment. So this gave us a really nice stepping stone opportunity. Um, so this, this canteen, it's a micro enterprise. It's not, um, you know, we're not, we're not serving the, the customer. Uh, we're not serving customers outside of Lake City, so it's very much so just uh, an, an internal facing enterprise. Um, but it's a very supportive enterprise that allows people to make mistakes and, and to learn from those mistakes and to continue to build themselves up to take that next step into retail. And uh, we actually just received a grant, so we're going to be scaling up this canteen a little bit as well. Um, so uh, we're going to be adding a cash register system that's going to be a point of sale system within the canteen that matches our point of sale system within our uh, um, our uh, retail uh, furniture shop. Um, and the hope is that we would be able to provide opportunities to some of the clients coming through this, uh, this canteen, uh, an actual employment opportunity within our retail shop as well. Um, and then also by adding this point of sale system, that's going to be a lot more um, um, like a retail uh, employment opportunity. It'll be further preparing people for that potential next step, which is great. Hmm. Another new micro, micro enterprise is our fire starters. So we uh, transform our sawdust and wood chip um, from, from the floor and we will mix it with um, paraffin wax and it comes into these little molds that you can see in the picture there. And it um, it's a great uh, safe and efficient fire starter for your stoves at home or in possible um, campfires. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and again, this was, uh, I mean, the impetus for starting this project was seeing sawdust and wood chips and things like that go into um, the waste system. So trying to improve our, uh, our footprint at Lake City. And also just we started playing around with what we could do with that material. And I mean, this is the idea that came out and it turned out to be just a really fantastic activity for folks to come in. And it's kind of like making really simple muffins because you're mixing, mm. um, you're basically mixing sawdust with paraffin wax. Um, we've scaled it up significantly over the last while. So I think when that was first starting, there was two or three people on a regular basis. At the moment we're at six and we're hoping to be at 12 people um, incorporated into that activity by the end of this year. Um, and we're, I mean, it's, it's an exciting project. Uh, we had uh, fire starters in the Provincial Park Network last year. Um, we're in discussions with Sobeys right now. So um, the hope is that this product will be on the shelves and uh, we'll be creating um, more opportunities and uh, potentially a few jobs out of this as well. So that's a, um, an exciting thing. Also on site is our reboot program. Um, there's two sides of this. One side, we call it our rip and tear. So computers that um, get donated to Lake City, we will assess them to see if it's possible for them 
to be salvaged. So can they be reprogrammed and then sold um, at a later date? If they can't be sold um, or if they can't be salvaged, uh, we have a team of about three or four on the rip and tear side that will take it apart um, and recycle all the parts according to whether it's copper or plastic or metal. And uh, we recycle that responsibly. Um, but if they can be uh, salvaged, they'll get wiped clean so that all of your personal information has been taken off of it. And um, they'll reprogram it, put all new programs on there, and we sell it at a much discounted rate so that um, computer use and computer access can be more readily accessible in a, a cheaper more yeah, affordable way for, for anybody um, because it's it's terribly expensive if you go buy from the big box stores but there's options at uh, Reboot to be able to get a computer and it comes with the keyboard, the mouse, the screen as well as the tower so you're you're fully set up to go if you were to buy a computer from us. Absolutely and it really ties into um, the overall goal of having people connect to jobs in the community. Uh, gone are the days of uh, job posts in newspapers. Um, it's all online now and if you are an individual that doesn't have access to uh, um, to a computer and to the internet, it's difficult to find those jobs. So uh, we see this as, uh, I guess, kind of it dovetails nicely with our employment services. And so if there are other organizations or people out there, um, I mean, I think the most expensive computer we've ever sold was $130. And we have computers that are um, as cheap as $60. Um, so they really are accessible. Um, and we do our best to continue to offer um, computers that are accessible to the community. And they have Windows 10, so you can, um, it, Windows 10 and the entire office suite, so you can make your resume, you can tweak your resume, you can check your email, um, everything's internet ready. So they're, they're decent computers, they're not state of the art, but um, uh, yeah, pretty good stuff. Um, yeah. Um, I think it's my turn to take yeah. over. So um, our seniors program. So the next couple of uh, projects that we're going to um, talk about are actually examples of uh, um, supported employment that Lake City is, uh, I guess, sort of starting to dabble within. Um, so these uh, Lake City Seniors Program is a, a waged employment opportunity. So um, in September of 2017, we started exploring the, uh, the possibility of uh, uh, training and supporting our clientele in uh, working with seniors in the community. Um, so we've been working with uh, a group of agencies, 11 agencies in total, um, from the Directions Council um, across Nova Scotia. So other adult service centers uh, who are assisting individuals living with disabilities um, in uh, accessing employment. Um, and we've collectively come together with uh, this project called Home Services Nova Scotia. Um, and the goal of that is to create training and waged positions for individuals facing barriers to employment to assist seniors in their home. So we're delivering non-medical home care services. So that can include housekeeping, meal preparation, companionship. And most of what we've been contacted for has been yard work and snow shoveling. Uh, we're also fairly flexible. We've had uh, a couple of... Uh, kind of funny requests, like one being, can you come and feed my parrot? Um, which was something that we figured out a way to do because what we're trying to do is uh, one, create job opportunities for the clients that we support, and two, we're also trying to support seniors in the community to allow them to stay within their homes. Um, so this is a, a growing uh uh, a growing project at Lake City. At the moment, I believe we have eight uh, clients that are employed part-time within this project. Um, and we're really just ramping up the marketing of that project as our uh, teammates across Directions Council are uh, preparing to sort of launch as well. Um, so I think keep your uh, ears open for Lake City seniors. And if you know anybody within HRM that would be interested in a project like that, um, or would be interested in uh, potentially receiving uh, services from a project like that, definitely get in touch with us. Um, another uh, entrepreneurial venture um, that has recently come about at Lake City is Lake City Plastics. Um, so Lake City Plastics is a, a new project that we are working with um, a partner who is making a lumber material out of a recycled plastic uh, film, um, recycled film plastic, so basically plastic bags. And I mean, film plastic is absolutely everywhere within agriculture um, and things like that. Um, and what's happening is that's being shredded up and extruded into 
uh, board material, and we have started manufacturing um, um, outdoor furniture out of this material. And uh, so we've actually just um, just set up our manufacturing facility. We've been in a uh, research and development phase with this project over the last year, and we've just started in this last month, um, uh, starting to scale that up into an actual manufacturing facility. So at the moment, we have three people employed um, full-time and we have one part-time person that's just coming on um, and the hope with that project is to scale that significantly over the next year. Um, it's going to be a slow scale um, over the next six months and then I think by next uh, uh, by 2020, we could be looking at a, a fairly major uh, ramp up there. Um, and there, these are going to be waged uh, employment opportunities for um, clients that are ready for that step into uh, a manufacturing environment. And what's exciting for us is that it's, uh, it's a natural sort of stepping stone out of the work activity that we offer within our wood shop. So if folks come through there, maybe they spend a couple of months building themselves up and building that confidence within uh, a very supported work environment where we've job carved something out for them to participate and build themselves up. This might be the next natural step. And the nice thing is that it's still under the umbrella of Lake City. Um, so that if, I mean, oftentimes with a lot of the clients that we support, um, people will take a step into the community and maybe there's a hesitation or something that happens. Um, mental health is something that fluctuates. So if it fluctuates negatively, um, maybe they need to step back. And with this situation, it gives us an opportunity to have them step out into waged employment and then have that safety net of Lake City still attached to them. So they could step back into our, our wood shop or whatever it is else that they were involved in at Lake City. Um, so an exciting opportunity for us. Um, um, so woodworking initiatives. Um, I mean, this is uh, the, the cornerstone of Lake City. Uh, woodworking is how we started. We started as a therapeutic woodworking organization in 1972. Um, let's skip to the next slide here. Um, uh, and uh, basically at that time, the clients identified work as an important means to reintegrating in the community. So a wood shop and retail business were developed. Um, over the years, that wood shop and retail business have morphed uh, many times over. Um, I've heard stories. I'm, I started on with Lake City in uh, September of 2017, um, and the uh, individuals that started this organization, I know at one point, were building a very uh, simple uh, like uh, stick furniture, so. Uh, uh, similar to like the shelving and, and units that you would see at Ikea. Um, and from that it's evolved. They, at one point they were making coffins. Um, at another point they were making cat furniture. Um, survey stakes is something that we've been involved in for quite a long time. Um, on the furniture side of things, uh, in I believe it was sort of the late 90s, um, we started building sort of, uh, I guess a higher end cottage line out of, uh, out of pine. Um, and then from that, we started uh, experimenting with uh, different woods, such as basswood and maple. And at this point, we are um, we've evolved into a wood shop that is, I mean, one of the finest uh, manufacturers of furniture within Nova Scotia. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's something that we're incredibly proud of, and it gives, uh, despite. Um, it gives our clients the opportunity to play a part in, you know, a really incredible product. Um, and I think that's a really nice thing to, to offer to, to our clients. Um, I guess the other thing that we're starting to explore a little bit um, currently is, is um, simpler projects that um, we can get clients, uh, get different clients more involved in. So uh, examples of that, we have a wine rack uh, um, business that's been, uh, been growing over the last number of years. Uh, so we, we make a very simple wine rack that we actually distribute through a uh, distributor um, in the US through Amazon. Um, we also have uh, a couple of smaller products that are, they're, they're quite simple products, but they're, uh, they're gaining popularity quite quickly. Uh, we started making record crates um, out of maple and uh, we had a great partnership that was struck up with Taz and uh, so Taz sells these record crates and they seem to be selling about 25 a month which is fantastic um, and we're looking at flat packing those as well and trying to get those uh, 
um, out there online. Um, other things uh, related to the winemaking, beer making industry, we've been playing around with lots of different simple designs for things like uh, related to like the home brewing industry, um, uh, home winemaking and uh, things of that nature. And we're always open to, uh, to new ideas. So if people have thoughts about things that might be interesting, you can always come in and let us know and we could see what we could do there. Um, so I alluded to that we started as a therapeutic program, but when I started on at Lake City in September of 2017, I didn't know that we started as a therapeutic program, and I thought I had a bright idea of offering therapeutic programming through our current wood shop. Um, turns out it wasn't that bright an idea. It was an old idea, but still a good one. Um, and in 2018, we started a therapeutic program. So um, uh, I guess, the really exciting thing is we have an amazing wood shop at Lake City and all we needed to do was um, convince some of our staff to stick around in the evenings to run these programs and we've managed to uh, work with 50 individuals um, uh, over the last year. Um, so we've uh, targeted three specific groups and we are going to be expanding upon that in the upcoming year. Um, but the original project, the original idea for this project came from uh, um, some interest from veterans and civilians living with PTSD. So that's where we piloted it. And then um, like absolutely fantastic success in that first pilot. Um, and from that pilot, we uh, branched out and started working with youth um, living with mental illness and self-identified women, transgender and gender non-binary people living with mental Ill illness as well. And I mean, overall, the, the, the feedback on that program has just been fantastic. A um, couple of testimonials. I had such a great experience connecting with others like me. It felt comfortable and it allowed me to regain a lot of confidence. Um, uh, I'm not going to read the middle one because it's really long. Um, this program has been a huge success for my clients. Uh, and just in talking with a lot of the folks that have gone through that program, um, I think a lot of people really appreciate the fact that it's not, it's a non clinical program. Um, so we offer, uh, we offer a wood shop and we offer an opportunity to come in and be treated with respect and um, um, to jump into a project that can help build yourself back up. I mean, for a lot of the veterans specifically that I've talked to, um, this represents one of the first times that they've been able to join into a group activity since leaving the military, uh, which is a pretty big step for people. And uh, I mean, I don't want to speculate that where that's going to, to lead for these people, but I think getting out into the community, getting out um, with your community is is a really important step for folks. So that's exciting for us at Lake City. Um, another project that we started um, in the last year is the Lake City Tiny Home. Um, so the Lake City Tiny Home Lottery specifically. Um, and that project came from um, when we had a quick look at uh, the demographics that we're supporting at Lake City. Um, we came to the realization that a lot of the folks that we were supporting um, uh, were did not represent the youth demographic. So what we realized is that we needed to maybe do something to make what it is that we're doing at Lake City more relevant to youth. So that's um, where we started uh, just talking to youth. We had a, a youth roundtable and I had a couple of meetings with people and the I mean, this was an idea that came out of that uh, that project or that project that that roundtable discussion was just maybe we could build a tiny home. And then it kind of uh, snowballed from there. And last year we uh, we hired four students to uh, work with us on this project. Um, so a team of woodworkers, students and volunteers built this tiny house. Um, the. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, it was a fantastic experience for the participants, uh, the clients that worked on this project. Um, and in the end, we sold $68,000 worth of tickets for the lottery and uh, raised some money for um, continuing on our therapeutic programming um, for youth this year. Um, little uh, testimonial from that. My future is looking so much brighter due to the experience and support I have gained and continue to gain from Lake City. Um, former on-site client, now working in the community. So that would have been someone that was working within our work activity program at Lake City and has moved on. It's fantastic. So that's it for us. If there are any questions,
So uh, we just had a question with regard to our woodworking program, um, and the question was whether or not our woodworking program is an apprenticeship and uh, leads to any, I guess, sort of accreditation um, related to woodworking, and the answer to that is no. Um, so our woodworking training is not actually specifically training people for woodworking. It's the, the idea there is that we're, it's the softer skills that relate to just showing up to work. Um, so. Uh, when people come through our wood shop and show uh, uh, a real aptitude for uh, woodworking, what we've done is uh, paired them up uh, with one of our more senior uh, builders within the shop. And oftentimes what happens there is they would work with that individual for a couple of months and then we would work, our community employment department would work at connecting them with a cabinetry shop or a woodworking shop in the community. Um, so we're not training woodworkers, uh, we're helping people Woodworking is just an apparatus for us to be helping people get out into the community. And for a lot of folks, it seems to be a really good, uh, a really good fit. Um, I think there's something to, there's something, um, what's the, how to explain that in, I, I keep, when I talk about the therapeutic program, I say like the therapeutic value of making sawdust. Um, and there is something to that. There's, um, just when you're processing wood and smelling wood, um, I, there's, Something that I think gives back, you can see the concrete uh, um, outcomes of, of the, the work that you're doing. And I think uh, that's beneficial um, to the folks. And then I think what's really nice is that you may be playing a very small role in the development of an end product, but that small role, you're seeing that end product in the showroom every day when you walk out. So I think that uh, really helps our clients in building themselves up. Not to mention that the clients also get um, the social aspect. So all the clients on site are also very connected with each other and they share resources with each other. So if they hear of a new venture that's happening outside of Lake City, they will share that amongst themselves. So it, um, it's, it's a very cohesive, very friendly group on, on site and they, they definitely learn from each other as well. Yeah, it's a big community for yeah. sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to pop up the next slide there, which is our contact information, um, I think. So if anybody does have questions um, as they're um, going through this presentation in the future, um, feel free to reach out to us at Lake City. Um, we're happy to answer any questions, um, take any suggestions, and uh, just excited to hear from you guys. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Liam and Nicole. Like, it's been wonderful to have you here, and thanks for telling us so much about Lake City and all your interesting green initiatives. Thank you, everyone.